Welcome to Vindao's concept. Welcome to mass physics. What I have today is a very important topic. You can call it plane geometry. Now, before I go into the solving of this problem, this one is in the diagram above, find the value of x, and this same thing, find the value of x in this one too. But before I solve this, I want to give you a little analysis of the principle or the condition that you need to meet before this thing can be as easy as it is. Because it's very easy, that is, if you understand what is happening here. What you are seeing here is simply parallel lines. Each time you see this symbol, you know it is parallel line we are talking about. What do we mean by parallel line? When we talk about parallel line, we mean that two or more lines can be parallel when they don't meet. No matter how, if you keep, if for example, if I write this line and this line, then that the two of them happens to be parallel means that from here to here, if from here to here is two, two meters, that these two meters, they will continue being like that. They will not meet or cross each other. So this one will continue going this way. And then this one will continue going this way. Two of them will never meet. That is what we mean by parallel lines. Now, it's not only two lines that can be parallel. Two lines, these two can be parallel. Another one can also be parallel in the same way, like two meters away from each other. Now, whenever two lines are parallel, and then there is a transversal, because this one now is called transversal. Transversal. Transversal PQ. Whenever two lines are parallel, we say that LM is OP. That means, um, that means this line LM is parallel to, sorry, OA. It's, this is OA. So that means two lines LM and OA are also parallel. And also, I can also say that BC. So that is what mathematicians use to say that the two lines or three lines are parallel. Now, in the same vein, now let's go to, okay, let's continue. Now, in the same way, there is something we call a transversal. A transversal is just two lines, a, li a straight line joining two or more parallel lines. When we have a straight line joining two or more parallel lines, we say it's a transversal. Now, whenever there is a transversal, few other angles are formed, other properties. For example, because of this transversal, we have formed this angle. This angle A must be the same thing as this angle. If you look at it very well, it's look, it looks like a Z. Look at it, Z. Or if you shift it like this, it will look like N. So that means in and out, in and out, we we'll call it alternate. That simply means that the only condition for a alternate angle, alternate angle to have, that is alternate alternate angles. That means the only condition for alternate angle is the parallel lines. Once you see a parallel line and the transversal, the, the line joining the two parallel lines, the angle in and out must be the same. Another angle that is associated with the parallel and transversal is corresponding. Corresponding angles. Corresponding angles is, if this is A, this is going to be A. That means, provided this is the transversal and parallel, this angle must be the same thing with this one because this line and this line are the same thing. So, on top of this line comes A. This A must be there and another one must be there. So, they are just on step on step. That means, the one on this, this kind of step must be produced or translated on all of them, provided they are all on this um, transversal with respect to the parallel. The same thing, if this angle is B, then this one will be B, and this one will be B, and that is all corresponding angles. Now, there is another angle called vertically opposite. Whenever two straight lines cross each other, this angle on top must be the same thing as this angle below. 
and the angle this side must be the same angle with this side. That is looking at A as any number. So these few things we have known, including other things you know like angles on a straight line, we are going to apply them in solving this problem. Now, what I want you to know that if you look at these angles very well, you realize that this is parallel. Then we have an angle here. We have an angle. And then this one. So if you check very well, this angle, this line and this line are parallel. So if I produce this line, I will also produce this line. Then I know that if this place is 1, 1, 0, then, but, but if you look at this very well, there is no transversal joining them. But what I'm going to do here is, at this point, I'm going to make this one. Yes, I'm going to make this one to still be parallel so that I'll be able to. Please, if you don't know a few properties of angle, there are stages you must have crossed before coming here. So if you are um, a beginner, I may advise you to check some other work on angles. Now, if, like I told you before, but I will try my best to put, put you across. If you check where well, this line and this line are parallel, this line joining them is the transversal, so in and out. So this angle is going to be 54, all right? Yes, this is 54. It will be transformed to this one because it is that Z or N. Look at it. In and out. Because parallel, these two lines are parallel and this is transversal. Now, there is a law called angle on the straight line. Angle on the straight line is 180 because this angle now is 110. What is remaining here is 70. So if this is 70, then this is going to be 70 alternate angles. So this is 70, and this is going to be 70. Therefore, I'm going to say that, therefore, I'm going to say that, that this particular place is, this is 124, 124 degrees. Therefore, X is got 124 degrees, because this is X. We are looking for the X. We are looking for the angle inside here at this R. So by this analysis, I have found it. But then let me write it down the way it should be. So you are going to say that, we are, uh, let me call this place M. Yes, let me call this M. So I'm going to say R S M is equal to 54 degrees. Yes. The, the one at the middle is where the angle is. R S M is 54. It's 54 degrees. Then I also made my own line. I'm going to call this place L A. So I'm going to say now that, remember this is S. So I'm going to say that S R L. S R L is equal to 54 degrees. Why? Alternate. Alternate angle. Angle. Or angles. Because I said that this angle is the same thing as this angle. So this angle, I'm calling it L R S is also 54. Because of that, I say alternate. I am giving conditions for what I'm saying. Then another one, I have to say that that is also knowing that L, so that is knowing that that L A is parallel to S M and also parallel to P Q. I have to make this condition. For that, this is true and this is true. Now, there is another one. I have to say that P, Q, R is, is 110. I will say that now I, I'm going to call this angle 70. I'm going to say that angle on a straight line, this is going to be P. And this is Q. And if I call this place, I'm going to call this place B. So I'm going to say that P, Q, B is a straight line. Is a straight line. So if that is a straight line, is a straight line, then I'm going to say that 
110 plus this 70 is equal to 180 degrees. And as a result of that, I'm going to say that RQB, RQB, that is this angle, is the Q. 70 is equal to QRL. QRL. And that is what? 70 degrees. And I'm going to say is what? Alternate. Alternate angles. So on this note, I will now have that QRS. QRS is equal to 70 plus 50. And therefore, we say that QRS is equal to X and is equal to 100. Sorry, this is 54. 124 degrees. So that is how yeah, I have to write this all this down for you to know that is a process you need to follow in order to show your examiner the steps you took to arrive at the answer on 124. Coming to this one, I have to I have to make this line which is parallel to this. I have to extend it. When I extended this line, I know it will be parallel to this one. I have to extend this one and extend this one because this line is parallel to this line because they have the same symbol. Why this one is parallel to this one because they have symbols. So this line is parallel to this line. Now, I also know that as I made this one, this particular parallel line is the same thing as this parallel line. This transversal is the same thing as this transversal. So when the same, the same lines made angles, this and this, formed 70. Then this and this is going to form another 70. And that is going to be corresponding. So because 70 is here, 70 is here corresponding. Then this is angle on the straight line. If you look at this very well, you see angle on the straight line. This is the straight line. 70 is out here. Then 110 should be here to replace it. That is why I said 180 minus 70 is 110. Therefore, this x is 110. Thank you for being part of the class. Remember, you have to subscribe, share, and like.